The manner by which government funds are being spent was brought into question by voters, according to Minister for Parliament for Castry South, Dr. Ernest Hilaire. Speaking to reporters on Tuesday at the House of Assembly, Dr. Hilaire said the way by which state resources are being used and the awarding and management of government contracts have been a cause for concern for the people. The large number of direct um, awards that have been given, you've heard of projects that have been, you know, the prices have increased significantly. Um, and there's really a worry. I mean, the most, the greatest one for us is the Uranor International Airport Redevelopment. This is a project is over $600 million and there was no tendering at all for the contractor. So it is not about looking into ministers, it's looking at specific projects, how they were managed, the processes that were followed, including the CIP as well. He says the outcome of a number of projects supposedly audited by the government have yet to be made public. They did a financial audit into St. Jude, which has not been made public. They did a, finan a technical audit into St. Jude, which still has not been made public. They promised to investigate the Jufali affair, they, 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 um, you know, Rochamel, and they, they've promised to look into a number of projects. Three and a half years later, we've seen nothing come out of it. And, and I think right now, St. Lucians are very, very concerned about some of the decisions that have been taken by this government, including the DSH. And, and we have an obligation to respond to the concerns of voters and to look into those specific projects. According to Hilaire, works on the hotel in Chosel, meant to supply residents with opportunities for employment, have been on an extended hold. The hotel plans, which began under the St. Lucia Labour Party, was to be funded by the Citizenship by Investment Program, CIP. You'd recall um, Honorable Bradley Felix, certainly when he was campaigning, did not place the hotel as a priority. He wasn't opposed to it, but he had other ideas that he had for the creation of employment in Srozel. Um, since then, we've heard nothing of the development. We heard that residents were very upset about the fact that this new government had given permission to um, cut off the road and to create a bypass. Um, the last we heard from it was the Prime Minister saying that there were some problems with the developers and that a new developer has taken over. The same group that was going to build the Shabusha Hotel will also, I think, sign an MOU to build a hotel at Point Seraphine, which should have been completed by now. Really want us to know what's happening with the project. Certainly, if that project had commenced, um, hundreds of St. Lucians in Srozel and the southwestern coast would be employed. But like many other projects that were announced, nothing has started and nobody knows really what's going on. Dr. Hilaire says accountability in government is critical for public trust and confidence. Lizandi Boville-Jones, HTS News Force.